Barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier.
I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. My god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! It's alright, I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Jonesy Lake. 
That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal? It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? Oh, you gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No, I am getting drunk. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? No, I'm fine, but there's a set of keys here. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but it looks like the set to the cave that went missing. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. 
Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry?! So your little bender isn't looking like such a good idea under the light of a new day, huh? No, it isn't, but that's not it. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it! Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together. Okay, keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right.
Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! I can't get any damn reception. Freezing in here. Is anybody down there? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Mm. 
Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Um... Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. <laughs> so, something I never told you, or anyone, about Brian. In regards to him being out here, you know, being against the rules. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there.
What do you think is in there? Probably something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry. They closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say.
Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave, and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No. I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway.